box numbers and you see the power punch connect percentage. Gentlemen, we both received your instruction in your dressing room. Okay, both trunks are high. Right here is good. Right here is good. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. And working behind straight shots. Feels like he's got the better jab, that he's quicker, and he moves better. Is it that easy? It's not that easy, especially against Joe Smith. Yes, I mean, stop, 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 you know, stop. very well. I'm less concerned about what Joe Smith does, and I want to see what Alvarez does. He can have a game plan and on three, paper. Let right hand from Alvarez behind the stop, jab. Stop, stop. See, the one thing that happened right there was Smith Jr. just sat right there at mid-range and didn't fire any punches. He didn't throw any jab or anything. And so what did Alvarez do? He lined stop, him stop, up stop. for the jab and the right. Deadly and the right hand of Alvarez is deadly. So when these guys throw their right hand, both these guys need to make sure that they keep their head off the line or get their head off to the line. And if the way you do that is when you throw your right hand, stop. you... End of one. The inflammation subsided. Here we are a month later. Joe Smith coming out to meet him on the other side of the ring. Applying pressure, short right hand trying to get around. Joe, you want Elayda Alvarez to remain who he is? He's got a temperament like a cobra. He's a guy who lays in the grass, he lays in the in the weight, and then all of a sudden he'll explode with. A lot of head hunting from Smith. Not a lot of body shots coming from him. Good work right now stop, stop, stop. from Joe. A lot of that stuff is being blocked, Tess. You know, like, ooh, that's a right hand, right? The shot, keep an eye on that. Like right there, as soon as that threshold is, is crossed. <laughs> Smith Jr. letting them fly here in the final moments of round number two. Round three to this point, Joe Smith Jr. has a 29 to 16 connect advantage. Career. You can constantly hear Capo Bianco ask him to double up that jab. Everything, a point of emphasis, is charging him with constantly from the corner is dealing with the jab. Yes, he got that. Mm. See Joe Smith just being Joe Smith, volume, pressing the issue, not really concerned about any punches coming back from Alvarez. He's gonna live or die with that style. And we see Alvarez being who he is, very economical, looking for the one big shot, trying to snipe Smith. As we come to the end of three, Right back to the jab from Joe Smith Jr. Round four. Up the pressure here a little bit more. Mm. Well, I hope Alvarez knows that in order to back up Joe Smith, he's got to go through some fire. I mean, Joe Smith is not just going to allow him that's Alvarez's temperament. He wants to lay back, he wants to watch, he wants to look and hope that he can catch Joe Smith slipping and land a big shot over the top, preferably a right hand. Smith landed a right hand over the top of the, the jab. Fighter to fighter, I mean, I was a guy who wanted to win every second of every round. I wasn't okay with guys landing four and five shots on me in a combination, but Alvarez, he's just okay with just sitting back and did you say buns in the oven, Timmy? Put some buns down there, man. In the <laughs> <laughs> Blow it. Blow your nose. Don't do that. Your eyes will swell up. You just got to let it drip out. Short left hand at the end of four. Heard the round without the mouthpiece. Have to have that. <laughs> Dre, what was your reaction to that Pavetkin knockout? 
I mean, first and foremost, I, I just feel bad for Dylan White. I mean, this is a guy who had been the number one contender for a world title shot, a second opportunity at a title for a long time, and they, they continue to tell him as promoter, the WBC, wait, it's coming next, it's coming next, just be patient. And and they're in disbelief. The I never saying. wanted to be a part of that. I never wanted my family to have to go through that, and thank God it never happened. But Dylan White's got some, he's got some rebuilding to do, not physically. Alvarez being a little bit more intentional. You see the blood right there, that's what happens when you let a decent puncher, a strong puncher, like Joe Smith hit you like that. Alvarez will have moments where he wakes up he better wake up and get going because he's 36, and if he loses this fight, he may not get another shot. See these offensive waves from Smith Jr. There was a right hand between punches from Alvarez while Smith was on the attack. Good stuff here in round. And it's just the work rate of Smith is causing Oh, problems. there's a left hand that Alvarez. sweeps in. Ooh. And now a right hand gets around the corner. Look at the he's thudding hurt. blows from Joe Smith Jr. as he's on the attack here in round five. Uppercut reigns in as he backs stop, stop. up Alvarez. Alvarez's nose just missed with that right hand. And you can hear Capabianco saying, stop, stop, don't stop, load stop. up, do not load up. Ah. Now, 29 of 71 landed 29 connects in that fifth round. Stop, stop. Alvarez can't continue to take those type of punches, those big shots coming from Smith. Well, this fight's not going to continue. Those some big shots that landed in the back end of that last round. 302 punches thrown by Smith Jr. to just 191 for the more economical Alvarez. You can get busy. You can get busy on a counter puncher. That's what Smith is doing. Some punching power you have to deal with. If you're later Alvarez, and this is, your, you know, potentially your last shot, he's got to be thinking about that. Being he's willing to fight everybody, he didn't have an opportunity to be tough. He got caught, and the fight was over. Same thing can happen to Smith. Well, you know what I say, Dre? If you're on your back and you can look up, that means you can get up. Stop. At this moment, the only way that I see Alvarez winning this fight is getting lucky with a shot. Stop, stop. Adam Hurt in the fifth. Stop, stop, stop. When Atlanta stands right now, a sweep for Joe Smith Jr. Things. Yeah. Good guy to root for. It. Great story. But you've always seen this kind of elater in fights. A guy, even the fights that he won, the first fight with Kovalev, he came from behind to win that. He wasn't dominating every round. I just didn't believe he was going to turn over a new lead. He's proven me right tonight. Yeah, in that first fight, he was cut in the sixth round. Kovalev was ahead on all the scorecards. And then the Stop, power surge. Good luck with that. Smith Jr., to me, is not going anywhere. <laughs> Come up. Alvarez shoulder to shoulder stop, with stop, him stop. now. Step back and taking deep breaths. There's a right hand from Alvarez. Oh, there it is. Right hand from Alvarez here with a minute to go in the seventh round. Little buckle of the legs of Joe Smith. Looking for it again, trying to that happens that when right you get hand. complacent. That happens when you get complacent, Tess. When you have success and then you get comfortable and then you leave yourself wide open for a right hand like that. And then look at what Joe Smith does to respond. Stop, stop. But when Joe Smith is being Joe Smith, when he's letting his hands go, Alvarez wants no part of it. You can see the power from Smith just mauling him here again at the end of the seventh. And now letting his hands go. So a nice way to respond after the right hand from Alvarez, how Smith came down the stretch there of round seven. Right on the, the right hand of Alvarez has a mind of its own. It's just, it's a natural thing when a guy is coming in. Did you get hit with that overhand right? Let me tell you why he got hit. He threw the jab from a little bit too close and let the right hand come right over the top. I got to you know, tell you right now. The jab is great, but you got to make sure you do it at the right distance. Tim, I am stunned that Tony Weeks, the referee, is not asking for time here to start the eighth. 
based on how much grease was applied onto the face <laughs> of a later Alvarez. Tess, if he continues to fight like this, he's going to get knocked out. Now the right hand he's from Smith Jr. going to get knocked Jr. off anyway. That's that. But that is a lot of grease. <laughs> wow, look at his face. <laughs> I mean, look at that. This is how he walked Fine. out to start the round. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. <laughs> well, you see what direction Tony Weeks is looking. He, he, he didn't catch it. They slipped that one through. I think the Martians on Mars seen that, all that crease. Stop, stop. Let me out of grease, man. <laughs> Anyhow. Long Island's Joe Smith Jr. trying to close in on a world championship. This a title eliminator. Alvarez is sitting on another right hand. He's waiting. He's waiting on Smith Jr. to throw a jab from a little bit too close. Squared up and he threw the right hand. You know what I like? What I like with Smith when he changes the speed up with his combinations. I like that. He has a lot of success when he changes the speed up. Instead of just one, two, one, two, when he puts them in combinations. Stop, stop. Very good night to this point for Joe Smith. Stick with yes. the plan. In addition to the total punches that we showed you and that advantage he had, when it comes to power punches, Smith Jr. has a 122 to 51 power punch connect advantage. There's a right lead, and then he sends him through the ropes to start round nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Alvarez has to make his way back through the ropes, and this fight is over. Joe Smith Jr. raised that hand. That was a statement right there. Career, but he's right in line to get that second shot. Just a beautiful shot. I mean, Joe Smith has been chopping at the tree all night long. That was probably the straightest, clearest shot that he threw to the chin of Alvarez right there. He didn't load up. He just let it go. And because Alvarez is sitting right in front of Joe Smith and hasn't really posed much of an offensive, you know, problem for Smith, Smith felt like he could throw that kind of shot. And then later, he's been taking punishment all night. That shot may not have knocked Alvarez out in the first round or the first couple rounds. But when you beat on a tree, you hit it in that sweet spot right at that, that moment, then the tree falls down. And that tree is Elater Alvarez. You said it, Dre. Straight right. As straight as right hand he threw all night long. Yes, he did. He disguised that right hand with that jab. Disguised it. Holds a stop to this bout at 26 seconds of round number nine. Declaring your winner by technical knockout, Joe the Beast Smith Jr. He landed.